Derek Osman is the author of Egypt on the Brink from Nasser to Mubarak and joins us now from CNN London. What do you make of this ruling? Is it a legal decision or a political one, do you think? I think there is um, a lot of debate on, on is it either, but on the legal front, there's certainly lots of debate on what he knew, what he ordered, uh, what his overall responsibility. But at this stage, I think the really important point is what the Egyptian street is, is making out of all of that, how they are perceiving this, and especially that right now, after two years of the uprising, that street is very disenchanted, really, of the entire political elite, entire political transition process, and very distressed at a very challenging economic situation. So its response, I think, to this major news is, is very important right now. Well, let me ask you about that. Uh, would seeing Mubarak back in the headlines potentially as a victim, as he, as he sits there, old and suffering through another trial, uh, is that going to spur nostalgia, do you think, or anger? I think to a large extent his own fate will, will have three major points. One is that it is in one way the finale, if you'd like, of the story of the first Egyptian Republic, the one that was there between 1952 to the end of 2010, early 2011. But that's a historical perspective. On the immediate scene, we might see some confrontations between his supporters and some activist groups, especially those uh, attached to the 800 plus that actually died during the uprising. But it's important to keep in mind that the story is about the future, I would say, rather than the fate of Mubarak himself or the potential confrontations, but still a minor or marginal story in, in the birth of the new Egypt right now. Well, fair enough, but let me ask you about Mubarak himself. Is there any possibility in your mind that he could go free? It is a possibility right now. However, in addition to the retrial that he is facing right now, he's also facing some corruption charges. Almost certainly um, he will uh, face some accusations regarding other corruption cases, other potential abuse of power. But also one important point about President Mubarak, especially in the last few years, that will feature in uh, most likely in his retrial or other trials that he will be uh, accused, is that he was not just an absolute, absolute um, uh, leader. He was at the core of a very important financial power center, if you'd like, that has, and some of them remain to have, very important economic interests in the country. And at the same time, you're having the rise of new financial, economic, and political interests in Egypt. And these two power centers have clashed and will continue to clash. So the trial of President Mubarak is, is also in one way part of that as well as a signal about the future of this confrontation in the country. Let me just ask you uh, on, a, on a simple level of, of giving a, a man a fair trial. Is that possible for a man like him in a country like Egypt today? We've seen the judiciary essentially at war with the new Egyptian authorities. There are some questions about how um, passionate the original investigation was because the interior ministry didn't seem to be cooperating with the government at that point. Can Mubarak get a trial that is both fair to him and fair to the people of Egypt who want to see justice? I think he will get to a very large extent a fair trial. Remember that the, the judiciary is not particularly unified when it comes to its, own, uh, to its own stance to different political players in the country. So it has been divided, for example, regarding whether or not it will supervise the referendum on the constitution. So when it comes to the, the situation or the positioning of the judiciary, it's not one block right now. And number two, it is because it is under the limelight, this specific retrial, to a very large extent, it will be very difficult to over-politicize it uh, in these circumstances right now. But as I said, he is not facing only one set of accusations. He is facing right now political retrial, uh, ones relating to corruption, and almost certainly there will be other accusations that will emerge. It's hardly over. Tarek Osman, author of Egypt on the Brink from Nasser to Mubarak. Thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you for having me.